Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Whatever this emergency is, they've shut down the whole mine for it. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your door. Excuse me, are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he trusts us. I take for Gilbert's sake. A thousand gil for a measly bunch of gazelle greens. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. Stay 
Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. Inputs. Needed to a silken soft. The most fragrant the herbs in the finest world. fabric. Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you.
My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're gonna listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang, for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? 
You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. She gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. The finest fabrics! What was all that crashing and banging about before? Some out of it's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? ...that the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere... ...and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. 
Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> Let me treat you. Of course. I need to drink. This river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey. And they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Such happy times. and gill for a measly bunch of gazal greens. Won't you come and play, handsome? Made from the stoutest stoneware. Won't you? Do you think they'll be back soon? You need a new dress? If they pay anything like last time, you'll be able to buy a whole the new... The juiciest order. meat from Green. Take a sniff, good sir. Uh, my God, carpets have dried a I'll take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. 
You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And... Being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both!
Well, that wasn't too bad. That's like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best? How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that... Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, me, I lost the land to his Achilles. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> mm. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Well, this is no good.
Is it true what I'm hearing? Light me and Needed to a silken softness, like eating a cloud with a crust. Plates and pots! Bowls and silver platters! Ha! Ah, they've opened the gate! Oh. Lubor was true to his word. Loose. We should get going soon. Do you have water? Ah! I'm not too late. What is it, Lubor? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ha, <sighs> just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Telmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Come on, girl. The gate's open now. We can press on. Don't tell me you put down roots. <laughs> 